an update to a story of a Denton County jail escape. Some new details tonight on how this inmate was simply able to walk right out of jail and where she went from there. ABC 15's John Erickson talked uh, with an inmate about how tough that would be. And John, you're here. This baby had some experience in the jail. She sure did, Katie. This inmate wasn't wearing cuffs when she allegedly made her escape. Instead, she was in street clothes. For a play date. Authorities also say this woman had been an inmate over and over again. As you mentioned, she knew the system and allegedly decided she wanted out. Uh, she's been there enough times, though, she has figured out ways around the, she's figuring out ways around the system. Justin Walker says the escape couldn't have been easy, and he'd know he was released today from the same jail. It's going to be a hard process. you got to go through at least, you're going to sit in five or six cells before you even get out. They're going to ask you your name. They're going to ask you your mom's name. We were there as Walker got reacquainted with two of society's favorite vices, cell phones and nicotine. As much as Walker loves the feeling of freedom under the desert sun, he says he would not attempt a Gallagher-style escape. I wouldn't want to get seven years for escape. Gallagher had less than 24 hours. Just to look over her shoulder, deputies say they found her this morning. Chewing on a random cord. She walked out of jail facing a misdemeanor. Pacifier abuse charge. She walked back into jail facing a felony escape charge.